An email address with your domain name should be one of the first communications tools that any business should have. I would say it is one of the business essentials. If you already have a domain name and a website, then having your business email address is possible one step away. My name is Carlos and today I will tell you how to create and configure your email account with your domain name in cPanel. You, as a business owner, should avoid using a free email service, like Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, for example, as your business email address. Having an email address with your domain name shows a required formality for your business and helps to generate trust. Having a business email address start by registering a domain name, then finding a web hosting provider for your website and an email service. There are many email service alternatives for your business. I would say that the best options, not the cheapest one, are Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. However, most web hosting providers include free email accounts with their web hosting services, but often users are not aware of them. A popular web hosting platform is called cPanel. It allows you to manage your website, databases, domain names, and email addresses. cPanel is a very reliable web hosting platform, and its email tool is pretty good. Its reliability will mainly depend on the web hosting servers and their technical support. This email tool provides useful and essential features like a webmail access, IMAP and POP configuration, aliases, and forwarders. If your web hosting provider does not use cPanel, it is still possible that your web hosting providers can offer or have a similar email alternative. This is, for example, the case of Plesk, another great web hosting platform that many web hosting providers use. Let's now jump into our computer and I will show you how to access your cPanel to create and manage your email accounts with your domain name. You may find different ways to access your cPanel depending on your web hosting provider. However, there is a standard method to access your cPanel. You can use the URL your domain name forward slash cPanel. In our case, our domain name is askitbe.xyz and then we add forward slash cPanel and then hit enter. It will take you to your cPanel login page. As I just mentioned, your web hosting provider may give you alternate ways to access it. So you will need your login ID and a password. It should have come in the welcome letter when you purchase your web hosting. If you don't have it, you can always contact your web hosting provider and ask for it. We are going to enter our username, our password, and then we click on login. So we are now within the cPanel, which is the web hosting admin panel. Since we are talking about cPanel, I think it's a good idea to give you just a quick tour within the cPanel and the sections that you will find. Within your cPanel, you will find different sections. The one that we are interested in is the email, which we have here on the top. Within your cPanel, you will be able to manage all your web hosting. Here, for example, you have the section for files, database, domains, metrics, security for your web hosting, software, advanced, preferences, and Softaculous, which is the section that will allow you to install different apps within your hosting, including WordPress. So let's now look at the email section, which is what we are interested in. We will just explore some of the features or capabilities that you have within the email section, the most important capabilities. For example, we can click here on email account, which is where we can create email account. At this point, we only have one email account, which is sales at askitbe.xyz. If we want to create additional email accounts, we will have this button here, create. Click on create. Here we will see the domain name where we want to create the email account at. If we have different domain names within the same cPanel, we will be able to create email accounts for every domain name. For example, we have set up for this cPanel a subdomain and also a different domain name, which is itbe.cloud. We're going to create email accounts under the domain name askitbe.xyz. Let's say, for example, that we want to create an email account for me. Carlos, and it will be at 
askitb.xyz. Then we need to enter a password. We can create our own password, enter it here. We can also allow the cPanel to generate a password for us. In our case, we are going to create our own password and then we click on create. Now our email account has been created. We have it here, carlos at askitb.xyz. We can see here that this email account has 500 megabyte of storage. This is almost empty. It is also only using 83 kilobytes. We previously had created this email account, which is sales. It hasn't been used either. So then we can create additional email accounts just by clicking here on create. Once we have created the email account, we are able to manage those email accounts. For example, let's say that we want to change the password or reset the password for sales. We click here on manage. We can enter a new password. And if we scroll down and click here and update email settings, the password will be reset. We can also change the quota of the storage for this email account. We can just modify this number here. In this case, this email account is, has a 500 megabytes. Then we can also control the capabilities that will have this email account. For example, at some point, we may want to restrict the email account to receive emails or to send emails. So we can click on suspend. We can restrict the account to be able to log in. In this case, we don't want to restrict this account. We want to make it active. Since we haven't modified anything, we just click on go back. If for any reason we as, a, as the administrator want to access any of these email accounts, we click here on check email and it will give you access to the webmail. We click here on run cube and now we are within the webmail for this email account. We have the folders here on the left. This is the first email that any new account received. So you will find here the information to configure your email account on any device. The incoming server, the outgoing server, either IMAP or POP3. We can now go back to our cPanel. And if we click here on connect devices, we will also find the email settings or configuration that you need to set up your email account on any device using IMAP or POP3. If you want to go back to you go to the upper left corner and click on the nine little squares and we will be here where we can see all the sections within the cPanel. Now, the other feature or capability that we consider that is important to know is the forwarders. So by clicking here, you can create a forwarder. Add forwarder. For example, we can say that we can forward all the emails from sales. We want to forward it to my email address, carlos at askitbe.xyz and then we click on add forwarder the forwarder has been set up or created then we click on go back and we can see it here any email that goes to sales will be forwarded to carlos in this case we have set up a forwarder to a internal email address i mean within the same domain name well we can also forward emails to external email address. For example, we can forward to a Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail account. We can also create email forwarders for email accounts that doesn't exist. Let's say, for example, that we want to create a alias called support. It will be the same at askitb.xyz and we can forward it to Carlos as well. So in this case, this forwarder will work as an alias. The alias will be support it will be an alias of carlos at askitb.xyz we click on add forwarder and that's it so we just created two forwarders one for an email account that already exists and one for a email account that doesn't exist so it will be so it will work as a alias of my email account as we said let's go back to our cpanel within the email section we also have the email routing this will allow you to configure the MX record. In general, you don't need to modify this unless you are moving your email service somewhere else. We also have the autoresponders. When you want to configure automatic responder for your email accounts, default address. This is something that you use to configure, capture all your emails that are addresses for any email account that doesn't exist. You can also create mailing lists. You have the options to create global email filters or 
email filters for a specific email address. We have this icon here, which is email deliverability. Here's where you configure your SPF record. So the SPF record will help your domain names to be accepted by other email providers. You also have this option here, address importer, which will allow you to create email accounts in bulk. You also have spam filters. You can configure your spam filter for you within your email service in cPanel. Then you can manage the calendars and contacts. And finally, email disk usage. If you access here, it will give you a kind of report how much space you're using with your email account. Once you have created your email account, you will be able to access your emails using webmail as well. In any browser, you will be able to access your webmail by entering your domain name forward slash webmail, hit enter, and it will take you to the login page for the webmail. You will enter your email address and then the password that you just created within the cPanel. In some cases, it, it might give you the option to access different webmail clients. In this case, I'm going to use Roundcube, click enter, and we are now within the brand new email account that we created. In conclusion, if you have already a website, you probably have the possibility to create email addresses for your business. I mean, with your domain name. If you find any kind of difficulties to access your cPanel or in general, your web hosting panel, I suggest you to contact your web hosting provider. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please click on the like button. You may also find it useful for someone you know. So in that case, please feel free to share it. As always, if you have any comment or questions, please leave them below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, or you want to find it easily in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.